you're in your weekly IT pro meeting and all of a sudden you look down at the agenda and you notice that they have this dynamic CRM. What the heck is that all about? And by the end of the meeting, you've been volunteered, and I'm using that term loosely and in air quotes, to install dynamic CRM. Not only install it, but also learn as much about it as possible so you can configure it for your organization. So the first thing you do is like, what the heck is a CRM? I barely know how to spell it. So you discover that it's a software package that focuses on sales, marketing, and maybe a help desk environment as well. It's an IIS based web application using client server technology and it's accessible by a browser. So that's all pretty straightforward. So you're happy to hear you don't have to install a software package on everyone's desk. So your next step is how do I learn about the CRM installation and how do I learn how to configure CRM once I've installed it on-prem? So you do a search for dynamic CRM installation and this course pops up. This is the course that you're gonna to want to attend because we're gonna help you understand what the dynamic CRM installation process is about, as well as the post-installation tasks that you're gonna to have to perform for a successful installation of dynamic CRM. And as a bonus, if you're interested in taking the MB2-708 exam, which is related to this course, we'll help you prepare for that as well. You may be wondering what we're gonna talk about, and here is a list of the items that we're gonna be discussing as we go through this course. As you can see here, we have 14 nuggets here. We're gonna begin in this nugget with just a flyby and what Microsoft Dynamics CRM is all about. In fact, I'm gonna start with Microsoft Dynamics, not even CRM, so you understand the different products that are available to you. Then we're gonna go through planning and preparing for CRM on-premises. This is prior to the installation. What is it you need to have in the background? What components are involved with CRM? And then we're gonna get prepped for the installation. We're gonna walk through the installation of CRM on-prem, and then we're gonna explore our primary tool used to manage CRM, and that is the deployment manager. We're then gonna do some post-installation configurations by installing reporting extensions, CRM email, and we're gonna take a peek at how we can set up CRM for Outlook on-premises. Our users can actually access the content using Outlook, which is pretty slick. We're gonna look at the process of upgrading to Dynamic CRM 2015 in the event you have an earlier version. Because all of our data is stored in SQL Server, we're gonna talk about data management, how to encrypt the data, making sure the data is not taking up too much space in Squeal or SQL Server. And then we're gonna talk about just some miscellaneous configurations this is my smorgasbord where the items don't really fit into any of these other categories. So we'll pop in there and talk about that for a little bit. And of course, as an IT pro, we have to be concerned with monitoring and troubleshooting and DR and high availability. We wanna make sure this system is readily available to our users at all times. We're gonna look at ways for us to make sure that's available. Now this bottom agenda item is not part of this course. It is part of the CRM Online 2015 Management and Configuration. You may currently have a Dynamic CRM 2015 online installation and you're thinking about bringing it on-prem. You'll wanna pop out to that course and look at that nugget to ensure you understand the steps involved from moving online to on-prem. So let's begin by looking at what Microsoft Dynamics involves. Microsoft Dynamics has eight different products or components as you can see here and some of them i can barely pronounce we're going to be focusing on crm and crm is a customer relationship management business solution that allows you as a company to smartly market and effectively sell it also provides you social insights bi or business intelligence and productivity with a single solution provided by microsoft and as you can know, Microsoft Dynamics CRM is available in the cloud, on-prem, or with a hybrid combination. However, before I move on, what is customer relationships management, or often called CRM, CRM systems, or CRM software? That's that business solution that helps your companies improve marketing, sales, and service engagements with all of their customers, and it improves efficiency as well as the customer experience. Now, in addition to that, another product is called social engagement, which provides you social tools for your sales, marketing, and service teams. And it provides you insight on how people feel about your business. Dynamics Marketing. This creates an effective collaboration environment by bringing both your sales and marketing teams together. They can share contacts and accounts with each other and provide and obtain feedback from both departments. And then our fourth one is AX, which is an easy to learn 
ERP solution, Enterprise Resource Planning, that allows you to take advantage of business opportunities and it provides innovation across your organization. GP, great plans. You've probably heard of this one. This focuses primarily on the financials within your Dynamics environment, specifically your inventory and the operations, which will allow you to make better decisions based on the information that you have available. NAV or Navision is a global ERP solution for your smaller to mid-sized businesses. And this provides you information about financials, supplier manufacturing, as well as operations. SL or Solomon provides project and financial management capabilities to help meet your customer demands, compliance regulations, and a little bit of project management because it helps you deliver services within budget and on time. Parature, the very final one, empowers brands and organizations to deliver consistent care anytime, anywhere by using a combination of knowledge management, self-service, and multi-channel engagement. So these are the eight products associated with Microsoft Dynamics, but in this course, our focus is going to be strictly on CRM. In addition to this course, I want to provide you some additional resources for Dynamic CRM. As you can see here, we have a half a dozen different links that you can access. The CRM team blog, support blog, CRM setup and administration is very helpful. We have some community videos available to us. If you're looking for documentation release history, we have a link to that. And we have several different knowledge base articles specific to CRM. So use these in addition to this course to help you deploy and configure CRM, as well as to help you prepare for the associated exam. For those of you that may be sitting the MB2-708 exam, it's really broken down just into three categories, each of them weighing in about 30 to 35 percent. The first category is installing and configuring dynamic CRM, and as you can see, they have four general areas there, identifying your system requirements, the installation of CRM as well as CRM reporting extensions, and then upgrading to CRM. So you can expect to see questions about those areas on the exam. The second category is configuring and managing Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And you'll see that's working with the deployment manager, configuring your email system, and implementing the Dynamics CRM for Outlook. And the third category is maintaining and extending your Dynamics CRM deployment. That's where we talk about the IFD or the internet facing deployment. We look at maintaining and troubleshooting a deployment as well as implementing high availability on your CRM deployment. So focus on these areas as you go through the course and as you prepare for the exam. You should now be confident in your decision. I'm going to put the air quotes on decision to roll out CRM for your organization and perform those post installation configuration options because as we go through this course, you're going to see there are several topics that we're going to discuss to help you through that deployment and that post installation configuration. And don't forget, in addition to this course, it's important for you to access those additional resources I provided for you. And also for those of you that are going to be sitting the exam, this course and those additional resources will help you prepare for that exam. Well, I certainly hope this nugget was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.